Bonjour mes amis, this is Servi Homestead. Here's the final part of the Bosch injection pump disassembly. I could not get this plug out. This is for the, uh, the release, relief valve. I tried a few different bits that fit in there. I finally bought a kit of metric Allen wrenches that fit on a regular socket. I had to heat it up with a suggestion from my uncle and it finally came off. It's just a plug with an o-ring on it there's a spring in there that I removed with my homemade pick tool and down in there is a spring stop and an o-ring and a piston I really wanted to get to this piston, but I could not get this plug off. So I'm hoping that sitting it in the parts cleaner will do the job. I really had to bind this thing down to get to these large caps. This is the advanced piston. I think it pretty much does the same job as advancing the spark on a gasoline engine. As the engine speeds up you need, in this case, fuel to squirt a little bit earlier. There's a strong spring. Things were a little bit dirty in some places and you could definitely see signs of wear and rub on some pins and parts that moved. I polished up some of those things and I'm just hoping that that cleaning and uh, just attention on little items here and there will really solve the problem. There's a pin behind this plug. The piston wasn't sliding very easily, so I was a little concerned about that. There's a little gunk in there. That shouldn't be there. Here's another homemade pick. You can see the wear rings on this pin. In a mechanic shop, that, that pin would probably get replaced. I just polished it up with some really fine emery cloth. And the piston only came out that way. It, I couldn't get it out the other direction, so I was a little concerned about that as well. You can see the wear marks on the side of the piston too. I did polish that up. You can see under this plug what they call the rotating member and the piston we just took out is connected to that with a pin and it moves it side to side. So there you can see the connecting pin and the rotating member. It went in there. Cleaned up a few more parts with the homemade parts jiggler. Uh, there were th other things I could take out but I wasn't comfortable with pulling the shaft and I don't think I need to. I just hope finagling with everything gives me a solution.
Thanks for watching Survey Homestead everybody. If you're working on a pump like this, you are brave and you have some good mechanical skills. And I hope that you get it working. And there's not a lot of information about these exact pumps, the EPVA 4 or 6 or whatever it may be by Bosch from the usually from the late 60s. And so I hope that you've come across this information and that it's helpful to you. Coming up next is the assembly. Stay tuned.